And God blessed Noah and his sons, and said unto them, Be fruitful, and multiply, and replenish the earth. And the fear of you, and the dread of you, shall be upon every beast of the earth, and upon every fowl of the air, upon all that moveth upon the earth, and upon all the fishes of the sea, into your hand are they delivered. Every moving thing that liveth shall be meat for you, even as the green herb have I given you all things. Ham's bloodline is the most duplicated. Shem's bloodline is the most coveted. When it comes to Japheth, not too many people claim Japheth bloodline, nor want to be associated with the bloodline of Japheth. The scriptures inform us that the Gentiles descend from Japheth bloodline. But these were the isles of the Gentiles divided in their lands, every one after his tongue, after their families, in their nations. The scriptures mark Japheth bloodline as the Gentiles. Today, the word Gentile means a person who is not Jewish. Judaism is a religion, not a race or a bloodline. Therefore, anyone who do not practice Judaism in today's society would be a Gentile. The beast system has led many to believe the Israelites are Jewish and practice the religion called Judaism. That is false. The Israelites are not Jewish, nor do they practice Judaism. I cringe every time I hear an Israelite refer to themselves as a Jew. I also dislike hearing our people refer to themselves as a black Jew or black Hebrew Israelite. Why the need to add black? If you accept that you are a black Hebrew Israelite or a black Jew, subconsciously you are saying the Israelite bloodline consists of white Jews, Asian Jews, and etc., which is false. Religion is multicultural. That is why you could find a Roman Catholic church and many other religious temples in every nation. People from different backgrounds and bloodlines that share the same belief would worship the God they have accepted in their religious temples. The kingdom of darkness via the beast system gave the people multiple options to serve Satan in religion. If you do not believe in the Baptist and Methodist denomination, there are other various denominations and faith in religion to choose from. Satan controlled the people through religion. In order to control the whole world, Satan made sure to cater to everyone's religious belief. The God that people serve in every religion is Satan. Satan is the father to all religion. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. There is no consistency in religion. If the church were one, there would be no need for the separation of the church through the various denominations and race. The scriptures reveal a kingdom that is divided or household would surely fall. And Jesus knew their thoughts and said unto them, Every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation. And every city or house divided against itself shall not stand. The church is divided. That is why the church is powerless against the kingdom of darkness. The church submitted to the beast system. Yah said he would build his church and the gates of hell would not prevail against it. Since the beast system is prevailing against the church in religion, this is a good indicator that the Most High is not in the church. And I say also unto thee, Thou art beaten upon this rock. I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. The beast system has convinced the world that the Israelite bloodline is a religion. Through this misconception, many perceive the Israelite bloodline to be multicultural. People from different bloodlines are claiming to be Israel. The spiritual Israel doctrine is popular in the beast system. The spiritual Israel doctrine gave the Gentiles a false notion to claim the many promises made to Jacob's descendants. The scripture said to be careful with what is popular with the world because what is popular with the world is an abomination to the Most High. And he said unto them, Ye are they which justify yourselves before men, but God knoweth your hearts, for that which is highly esteemed among men is abomination in the sight of God. 
The doctrine of devil, spiritual Israel, has deceived many into worshiping Satan in religion. You will not find the Elohim of Israel in religion. You can convert to Judaism and other various faith because it is a religion. You cannot convert to become an Israelite. The heathens who pose as the descendants of Israel via religion today claim the Israelite heritage by converting to Judaism. The Israelite heritage is a bloodline that you cannot marry into nor convert. The Israelite bloodline is holy and pure. The Most High did not in any way want his people to mix their seed. That is why the Most High forbid for his people, the Israelites, to marry a non-Israelite. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them, thy daughter. Thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. The Most High said in the book of Ezra, chapter 9, verse 12, not to give your daughters and sons for marriage to the heathens, nor seek their peace and wealth forever. If our ancestors would have obeyed the Most High's command, they would be strong and eat good of the land. In addition, leave the land for an inheritance to their descendants forever. Due to our ancestors' failure to obey the Most High, we live in the land of our captivity. This should be a red flag to every Israelite not to intermingle with the heathens. Now therefore, give not your daughters unto their sons, neither take their daughters unto your sons, nor seek their peace or their wealth for ever, that ye may be strong, and eat the good of the land, and leave it for an inheritance to your children for ever. The Most High always made his people put away the strange woman and their children. Two different bloodlines do not produce a whole of either of the bloodline it came from. The two different bloodlines produce a new bloodline. Therefore, it takes four generations for your seed to become pure from an infiltration. Many Israelites in the awakening have been deceived into believing they are producing Israelite children with the heathen. You are not. You are creating a new bloodline. In order to pass on the Israelite bloodline to your children, you must reproduce with an Israelite. Two Israelites must come together to pass on Jacob's bloodline to their offspring. Do not be deceived by the doctrines of devils in religion as well as in the awakening via the Hebrew Israelite religion. The offspring of an Israelite created with a heathen is what the scriptures refer to as a mamzer. A bastard shall not enter into the congregation of the Lord. Even to his tenth generation shall he not enter into the congregation of the Lord. A mamzer is born from a forbidden relationship. You are spoiling your seed when you intermingle with a heathen. Isaac is not a progenitor to any bloodline. Isaac passed his father Abraham bloodline to Jacob and Esau when he married Rebekah. Isaac married within the Hebrew bloodline. That is why he is not a progenitor to any bloodline. Jacob also married within. His wives are his cousins. His wives, Rachel and Leah, are Laban's daughters. Laban is Rebekah's brother. And Isaac called Jacob, and blessed him, and charged him, and said unto him, Thou shalt not take a wife of the daughters of Canaan. Arise, go to Padan Aram to the house of Bethuel thy mother's father, and take thee a wife from thence of the daughters of Laban thy mother's brother. The Most High passed on Abraham's everlasting covenant promise to Isaac. Isaac passed on the promise to Jacob. The Most High chose Jacob and his descendants to inherit Abraham's everlasting covenant. And behold, the Lord stood above it and said, I am the Lord God of Abraham, thy father, and the God of Isaac, the land whereon thou liest, to thee will I give it, and to thy seed. In order to claim Jacob's bloodline, you must descend from Jacob. If you could trace your bloodline to Abraham, it does not make you an Israelite. If you could trace your bloodline to Esau, it does not make you an Israelite. The Most High separated Jacob and Esau by making Jacob the progenitor to a new bloodline, he called Israelite. Esau became the progenitor to many bloodlines. Esau spoiled his seed because he married various heathen women. But I have made Esau bear. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren his neighbors, and he is not. 
I don't know how an Israelite could believe they can marry the heathens and keep the Israelite bloodline pure. In addition, the Most High would bless their union. That is the reprobate mind the scriptures speak of. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. Israelites, it is important to understand how problematic it is when you mix your seed. The children that are produced from those union often have mental issues and birth defects. The scriptures revealed that an infiltration took place when the sons of Noah and their descendants were multiplying to fill the earth. The scriptures reveal in Genesis that the sons of God procreated with the daughters of men. The children that were born to them were giants. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that, when the sons of God came in unto the daughters of men, and they bare children to them. The same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. The flood that came that destroyed all flesh did not destroy all the descendants of the fallen angels. The book of Jubilees will give you missing information about the demons in the flesh. The sons of the fallen angels, the Nephilims, the scriptures said they devour one another. The giants slew the Nephilims, and the Nephil slew the Eljo. For owing to these three things came the flood upon the earth, namely, owing to the fornication wherein the watchers against the laws of their ordinance went a whoring after the daughters of men, and took themselves wives of all which they choose, and they made the beginning of uncleanness. And they begot sons, the Nephidim, and they were all unlike, and they devoured one another, and the giants slew the Nephil. And the Naphil slew the Eljo, and the Eljo mankind, and one man another. Japheth inherited the northern parts of this world, and the climate in his lands were cold. This was Japheth's inheritance for his descendants forever. This is the land which came forth for Japheth and his sons as the portion of his inheritance which he should possess for himself and his sons for their generations forever. Five great islands and a great land in the north, but it is cold, and the land of Ham is hot, and the land of Shem is neither hot nor cold, but it is a blended cold and heat. I find it interesting that Japheth inherited the land in the north. Satan said in his heart that he would ascend into heaven. He would exalt his throne above the stars of the Most High. Listen carefully. Satan said he would sit upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. The heart to religion is in Rome. We all know that the Roman Catholic Church is the head leaders to the synagogue of Satan. Satan's seat is at the Vatican City. Japheth inherited the northern land. Europe is the birthplace to a group of people who robbed the indigenous people of their land inheritance all over the world. In addition, assume the identity of the indigenous people everywhere that they have conquered. The group of people who traveled all over the world to conquer land came from the land of the north. Europe. This group of people are not indigenous to any land in this world. Where did they come from? Did you know the indigenous people living in the land of the north prior to the infiltration were black indigenous people? The indigenous black population living in the north are descendants of Japheth. Japheth has mixed its seed with the serpent seed to the point that the indigenous black descendants of Japheth are rare to find in the land of the north. If you could locate the original population of Europeans, the beast system would group them together with the black race. The historians and scientists in the beast system confirm the indigenous Europeans are a dark hue people. Once the offspring of the sons of God infiltrate Japheth bloodline and the others, it changed the appearance of the indigenous people. This is why when an indigenous person procreates with the heathen from the north, the child looks nothing like them. The offspring inherit the mutated gene more than the indigenous gene. By the third generation of procreating with a hybrid, the indigenous blood is no longer found in the offspring. 
By the third and fourth generation, the offspring become a full-blooded hybrid with no melanin because there is no indigenous blood in that person. Today, most of the population that comes from the land of the north are hybrids. They are not the original indigenous black people made in the image of the Most High. All three of Noah's sons were black men. Many people in the awakening are led to believe Japheth is the white son of Noah. That is false. The serpent seed has infiltrated Japheth descendants more because the new species of human that mixed itself with the indigenous black population came from the north. If we go back into the book of Jubilees and read chapter 10, Shem, Ham, and Japheth complained to their father Noah of the demons in the flesh that was persecuting their children. And in the third week of this Jubilee, the unclean demons began to lead astray the children of the sons of Noah and to make to error and destroy them. And the sons of Noah came to Noah their father, and they told him concerning the demons which were leading astray and blinding and slaying his son's sons. Noah reveals in his prayers to the Most High to protect his son's children who the demons in the flesh were. Verse 5 states, And thou knowest how thy watchers, the fathers of these spirits, acted in my day. And as for these spirits which are living, imprison them and hold them fast in a place of condemnation and let them not bring destruction on the sons of thy servant my god for these are malignant and created in order to destroy as you heard noah said the watchers are the fathers to these spirits in addition noah said you know how they acted in my days the scriptures reveal to us in Genesis that the sons of God lust after the daughters of men and had children with them. The book of Enoch explained how the fallen angels procreate with the daughters of men. The book of Enoch also explained the appearance of the fallen angels and their offspring. Noah referred to the offspring of the fallen angels in his prayer as demons in the flesh. I hope you're beginning to see why it is important not to mix your seed. There is nothing new under the sun. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. The seed of the fallen exists until this day. We can trace the seed of the fallen in King David's generation. Remember when David volunteered to fight Goliath? The scriptures describe Goliath as a giant. King David's generation was after the flood. And there went out a champion out of the camp of the Philistines named Goliath of Gath, whose height was six cubits and a span. These four were born to the giant in Gath and fell by the hand of David and by the hand of his servants. The book of Jubilees revealed the Most High allowed some of the serpent seeds to survive to chastise the sons of men. The indigenous people were wicked. Read chapter 10, verse 5 through 9. Today, the serpent seed still exists, and they continue to persecute the sons and daughters of men. There is an agenda being pushed in the mainstream media, as well as the beast system of interracial relationships. If the beast system support it, you should question it. We have a large population of indigenous black men that hate the indigenous black woman. These men are lusting after the daughters of the serpent seed from the north. Their obsession is unhealthy. The serpent seed can marry and procreate with an indigenous person and turn around and kill their mate in an instant. They will claim mental illness for their breakdown. Mental illness is demon possession. Having an episode and destroying everything in their sight is a part of their culture. The scriptures say they would destroy one another. Israelites, it is time that you stop mistaking the hybrids posing as Japheth descendants for your cousins. The scripture said the Most High would enlarge Japheth and he would dwell in the tents of Shem. God shall enlarge Japheth and he shall dwell in the tents of Shem. And Canaan shall be his servant. I am sure, just as the beast system group all indigenous people into the black race and say they are the curse of Ham, I believe Japheth indigenous descendants are dwelling in the land of the north as well as sub-Saharan Africa and all over the world they migrated to. There are many Hamites living in sub-Saharan Africa. Sub-Saharan Africa is included in Ham's land inheritance. 
A lot of Hamites were pushed out of North Africa into Sub-Saharan Africa. You will find a lot of Shem's descendants living in Sub-Saharan Africa as well. Within Japheth's bloodline, there are additional bloodlines. Every one of Japheth's sons, name in the scriptures, are a bloodline. The sons of Japheth, Gomer and Magog and Madai and Javan and Tubal and Meshech and Taras. Japheth bloodline is not what the B system recognizes as Europeans. Japheth descendants are melanated indigenous people and they remain melanated until this day. What the beast system named Europeans are full-blooded hybrids that conquered the land of the north and everywhere else they traveled to. The serpent seed assumed the identity of the people dwelling in those nations they conquered. The Book of Jubilees will give you more information about Japheth land inheritance. To understand the Book of Enoch and Jubilee, you must have the Holy Spirit with you to guide you. Matter of fact, you need the Holy Spirit to understand the scriptures. The Holy Spirit will fill in the blank, reveal truth, and tell you the things to come. Albeit, when he, the Spirit of truth, is come, he will guide you into all truth. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. There is a reason the heathens left the book of Enoch and Jubilees out of the Bible. The Most High is making everything that was hidden known to you. What you do with this knowledge is up to you. Japheth, Ham, and Shem are brothers. They are indigenous black men. Their offspring remain indigenous until this day. What is ruling the world with Satan is the serpent seed. Remember, the earth was given into the hands of the wicked. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covereth the faces of the judges thereof. If not, where and who is he? Japheth bloodline has been infiltrated by the serpent seed. Japheth descendants are not the only people lineage the serpent seed has infiltrated. Shem and Ham's bloodline has been infiltrated with the new species of human produced by the fallen angels and the daughters of men. Now you know the truth. You are without excuse. Do not complain about racism and discrimination from the heathens when you are helping them discriminate against yourself. The indigenous people are the ones increasing their population. Stop offering your womb and seed to the hybrid heathens. You will see how your conditions improve. Japheth, Shem, and Ham's descendants are alive and multiplying. Finally, Israelites, Stop mistaking the serpent seed for your brother Esau. O Lord, my strength and my fortress and my refuge in the day of affliction, the Gentiles shall come unto thee from the ends of the earth and shall say, Surely our fathers have inherited lies, vanity, and things wherein there is no profit. Shall a man make gods unto himself, and they are no gods? Therefore behold, I will this once cause them to know, I will cause them to know mine hand and my might, and they shall know that my name is the Lord.